Welcome to Table Talk. We are here today, um, here with my friend Stephanie mm -hmm. Wendell, and she is, um, if you didn't know, she's a new member here at I Table Life. Yeah. Yes, which we went through the membership class and stuff, yeah. and so excited. She's an awesome, awesome person, and I'm excited to have yeah. our conversation today. So um, instead of me saying anything more, but um, Stephanie, why don't you introduce yourself a little bit? Okay, um, yeah. Whatever you want to share. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm Stephanie, and uh, yep, new member, and um, I just uh, really felt comfortable from day one with the church, and um, awesome. when you uh, mentioned about the new membership, and it just just felt right, so I was like, yeah, this is, um, which isn't normally me. I'm usually fairly reserved and, you know, <laughs> take things slowly, but I was like, yeah, this is great. Awesome. <laughs> and I'm really glad I did. Everyone's very, um, very welcoming and warm, and it's a nice sense of community, so I like it. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. And, and if you don't mind me sharing, you're a massage therapist. I am a massage yes. therapist. So I'm on my lunch break right so, now. Right. <laughs> which is cool. So, yeah. Which we're re super blessed to have you. Yes, that's, yeah. that's, that's so awesome. I think it's like the like coolest job. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's a really good job. It's, um, I mean, you get to make people feel good. So yeah. Nice. I know. And, uh, I know. Yeah. But there's also like super like knots like everywhere. And, yeah. Like, you're like, what did you do? <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. a, like, are you chopping wood every day? Or whatever, you know, yeah. Super tight. Yeah, you can tell certain, certain, yeah. um, certain careers for people. <laughs> oh, for sure. Like, I bet. Sit right here. <laughs> I bet you could just have like people like lined up and they don't have to say anything about what they do. And you could probably just go along and be like, okay, this one's yeah. like, whatever. This yeah. one's an accountant. This you one's know, right. a teacher. <laughs> it sits in the low back for you. It yes. sits in the neck for you. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I never thought about that. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's fun. I nice. like it. It's a good career. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, Stephanie's going to be in our conversation today and we're going to talk about this series. Um, we've been in the second week, second installment uh, this past week of Grow On mm -hmm. and talking about what it means to grow in our faith and really how Jesus um, was really preparing his disciples um, and his followers as well um, from really that turning point in Luke 9 and the gospel uh, in Luke's gospel um, preparing them to be released when he was no longer going to be with them physically yeah. and and how it kind of like lines up in that so um, so just before we like start about this specific message has there been anything so far that has resonated with you about like kind of the the spiritual growth um, element here that we've been talking about yeah, the spiritual growth element is really has always been important to me, and um, I appreciate that you're very good at gentle nudges. So <laughs> sometimes you get into the backyard, yeah. Like this week, like, oh, well, yeah. So kind of so I appreciate yeah. that. Um, you know, I think we all need that that little that little push, but doesn't feel um, like a kick. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a kick, but it's a gentle push to make you think outside the box a little bit and help you grow. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, so you do a very, very good job of that. You're a very good, very good leader in that way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so and so even just thinking, thank you, about um, this kind of like that circle diagram, like talking about the people that surrounded Jesus going from kind of the outer edges of the crowd mm -hmm. to kind of the followers, people that were coming back again and again to like the disciples that, you know, that right. were more committed to like the leaders. Um, what has been transformative for you in your own growth? Like what, like looking back, what has helped you kind of make your way from being on the crowd to move inward? Because I mean, we all start there in some way. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Um, what has been helpful for you? I think it's been a kind of a a mix of um, having the right people in my life mm. at at the right time. Right. But then also kind of equally important for me when I actually take the time to be by myself as well. So <clears throat> kind of that that mixture of um, healthy influences as well as not being afraid to sit with myself and pray and, and meditate and things like that. Yeah. So yeah, that was a, I think that's mm. when I kind of get to that next step. And then also, um, that's cool. challenges definitely kind of mm. propel you into that next step. Mm. And it's like when you're forced to, um, to step back and like rethink things. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, 
No, and, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, yeah especially the, the kind of like inward outward balance mm -hmm. and the, the kind of personal and also relational. Like, right. we need both of those. Right, right. You know, yeah. we, we can't just do it by ourselves, and it can't just be about, oh, okay, well, it's only corporate. I'm not spending time like reading right. and praying. And, right, and it can and, be so easy to do because I know, like, we're yeah. all kind of either naturally extroverted or introverted. And, For sure. And it can be easy to use other people as a crutch and things like that. So, you know, yeah, yeah that's that. I think when I've managed to be strong enough to take advice from others yet still sit with myself in my own prayer. That's mm. when I get, I feel like I've gotten the most growth. Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah. And so this week we talked about, um, excuses, mm -hmm. excuses just being, it's kind of like <laughs> those fish tanks that kind of keep us safe, but they mm -hmm. also keep us from growing and really yeah. experiencing like the ocean that God has mm -hmm. for us. Um, yeah. so I'm just curious, um, what is what do you find yourself now that like we talk about this i don't know if it, it maybe even the last like day or so mm -hmm. but what um excuses do you find yourself hiding behind um i mean i'll share first okay, just to ahead. kind of set the tone be honest totally honest right, be totally honest it's the easy thing to do for me is to say i'm too busy or yeah. i have too much going on right because i do and mm -hmm. like you said like we said in the message like reasons very easily can like um, become excuses. Right. Like there can be legitimate times and it's like, yeah, I can't fit that in. But like the busyness piece as an excuse for like not doing things that like I know I should be doing or that's good for me too. Right. Like, I mean, I, right. I'm an avid runner. Like I like athletics and stuff. Like that's, that's not been like a problem. Like I know some people are like, Hey, to exercise or to go to the gym or whatever. Like, is it like that? That's not, my thing, you know, right. that's, that comes easy to me. Right. But, yeah. um, but like other, other like sorts of encouragement, like, you know, Hey, you know, to yeah, spend time, especially like reading, like for me, that's like a discipline, like outside of work mm -hmm. and all. And like the excuse is, Oh, I'm too tired. I'm too busy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, well Maybe I could be spending that time. Yeah. <laughs> like, or hey, I could be utilizing that time. Like I feel guilty if I yeah. take a day off when it's right. just like doing nothing. And it's like, Oh, well my excuse is, Oh, there's too many things to do. Right. Um, when it's not really about that, there's almost like a deeper part, like my worth is tied up in what I accomplish. And that's right. like, ah, God, like brought that to my surface. So I'm curious for you, what tends to be an excuse that you catch yourself? Um, I, I think I'm probably uh, the least type A personality person I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, good. So it's, to my so it's to my detriment because you. I'll be like, I can do that tomorrow. It's uh, all right. <laughs> Don't stress about it. I can yeah. do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Right. Oh, wow. I'll be in a better frame of mind tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. So, that'll be my experience. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Didn't we just, like, see ourselves in those people that oh, yeah. kind of, like, I'm, Absolutely. like, the busy one. You're, mm -hmm. like, the, okay, I'll get to it later. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, you know, those. It'll still be there. Yeah, still be there, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, because yeah, it, it is. It's very easy to... Mm -hmm to um get get caught in that and not and not even know why we're doing that you know? right yeah. like there's legitimate yeah, but there's I, also it's other times right right yeah and i think you know it's probably more of a, a comfort well comfort zone for me right like i'm mm. comfortable right now just chilling and relaxing yeah and i really don't feel like i want to push myself at this moment mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. yeah i could definitely relate with the i'm comfortable Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah yeah but like you just shared too before stephanie um sometimes it's the like the discomfort that causes us to grow the most like mm -hmm. when we're willing to like you said like when you're pushed a little bit mm -hmm. in, out of your comfort zone maybe something that you're not like feel ready for or prepared for that yet you're like ah oh, i can do that late i'm not not right now like yeah like that kind of thing isn't that true like yeah. before you feel prepared yeah, it's it's very true, and then sometimes yeah, you're you're kind of forced because well, even like as a massage therapist, I'll say to people, you know, like people experience pain, and it's like you know mm -hmm. that pain is actually like one of your body's last signals to let you know mm -hmm. that something's going on. You know, if you take the time and stop and listen, you've gotten quite a few signals beforehand mm -hmm. that you didn't that you didn't listen to. So it's I feel like it's kind of that way wow. with, with God. He'll be like you know. Well, I'm 
listens to all things. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> you need to listen. I'm going to throw something a little harder here for you. And yeah. it's like, okay, all right. Okay. I have to listen yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So sometimes, sometimes we are open and ready to listen when things are quiet. And sometimes they just have to pound us over the head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's a great, that's a great connection. Great example. Cause yeah, even just that like we're, we're mind body soul together yeah and each of those has that impact and it's the same thing with our our spiritual life too right. like right. Yeah. like you're right that sometimes it's like the little nudges or the little things and and then before you know it like yeah you're not getting the point, you're not getting the point. <laughs> it's like okay yeah. hey this is something that i really have to face yeah but and, then when you face it it ends up you know not being as big of a deal as you thought and then it's a right. growth opportunity you're right yeah definitely. yeah no, definitely yeah so what else stood out to you in the message as far as excuses go um Some of the things that jesus talked about yeah so um i think i really like that first that first passage passage that you said that you read with the cross and the daily like uh, picking up yeah. your cross daily yeah. and um yeah. i think that resonated with me is because I do try to think about the greater purpose and things like that mm -hmm. but it is that constant daily reminder of you know so like mm -hmm. if I get up in the morning and start the morning the right way you know and yeah then the, the way the rest of my day goes and you feel like you're more connected to that higher purpose and calling as yeah. opposed to just going with through the motions so that daily choice mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Making it a daily it's choice a to, to pick up that, that cross. And then, you know, what you said about how um, the cross is like your, your mission from God. I liked that visual and that. Yeah. Involving that, sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which, because the mission always inv has to involve, like, and that yeah. was with Jesus, um, which, of course, yeah, there's different interpretations of, yeah, what exactly is, is that cross. Um, but for me, it's it's noticing like hey yeah it's gonna be hard mm -hmm. like in order to fulfill like what God has called you to do it's gonna be a hard path yeah um because the world and everybody around us is gonna like try to dictate what that is right. and and there's gonna be an easy route to take mm -hmm. um but it's not necessarily the right one just because it's easy right oh yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah no I agree hundred yeah. percent yeah but yeah and you know what you said about how with the example of the shark and how the shark doesn't grow any any um, bigger than its environment or however you yeah. put it. So, mm -hmm. um, and I think that resonated with me too because um, there's been times when I felt like I was in a really, really good place and then something would happen and then I was forced to grow a little bit more and I'd be learning new things and I'd be like, did, mm. did I never hear that? Was that never said to me before or did mm. it just not resonate with me before? And it's like, okay, I'm actually wow. feeling like I'm more open to, to listen wow. a little bit more. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and, and I think even with that, like I've found that, I mean, growth is overall a process. Mm -hmm. And I think that daily functions right into, fits right into that, that, um, our growth, it doesn't happen like overnight. Like right. it's not a one and done deal. Right. Yeah. It's a, hey, every day, every step of the way, everything that you encounter. Um, and But I think there are times when it's like, you know, it's almost like a growth spurt. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you think of like <laughs> like a um, child, like going to adolescent, it's like in two weeks, they just, like their shoe size just grew mm -hmm. like four times or right. something. Yeah. You know, and they're out, they're stretching out their clothes. Yeah. And that kind of thing. Exactly. Like I think spiritually we have growth spurts too. Yeah. Like you're saying that before maybe you didn't hear right or you really weren't listening or comprehending, but then later on, like all of a sudden you're like, wow, I'm seeing things differently. Yeah. It, like I'm experiencing that. Like now I, it makes sense now. Mm -hmm. Or again, yeah, now I'm more in touch with, um, what God's doing as far as like those nudges are concerned mm -hmm. or that you're listening more and it's right. kind of like you see that growth spurt like, yeah I think it's a process but there's kind of like sometimes that this happens right as well mm -hmm. um, yeah no I agree completely and I and I like the um I thought a little bit more about uh the second one that you were talking about where it said um 
uh, what did he say? This comes first or, oh, and he yeah. said, you know, and he said, where, wherever you go. And I said, no place to lie. And then that's what made me think about like, you know, you just keep growing. You don't actually get to that point where you stop and it's all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And Which, I think that's like the biggest disservice. I think the big C church, like not table life, but just overall tends to do is that we have this kind of like linear idea of what discipleship and growth mm -hmm. and spiritually means. Right. And that's like, okay, you just take enough classes mm -hmm. and you come to your church attend, you attend church enough and you go to Bible study enough or small group or whatever. And then that's it. Right. And now you're however many years old and you've been doing this for a while and you've kind of reached that like pinnacle plateau right. thing exactly. yeah. when that's not the case at all. Yeah. Like, it's not about the knowledge. It's like, though, knowledge is good. Mm -hmm. It's not about the attendance. Though, attendance is good, you know, but there's always room that, you know, discipleship is growth and Christ likeness. Right. Mm -hmm. And those things that we're doing, like, should be transforming us from the inside out. And that's over the course of a lifetime. Right. Um, yeah. and, and, you know, it's really cool. I, um, well, and I think Jeff and I mentioned this last week in our in table talk, but that, um, growth spiritually doesn't necessarily line up with like you know with age or growth mm -hmm. human growth yeah because you can have somebody that's even been churched all their life that's 80 years old and is still a spiritual child right and on the flip side you can have someone that's maybe even following jesus for two years and it's become spiritually mature yeah yeah, like that's true. There's different growth rates, but there's also how, how are you like availing yourself daily mm -hmm. to those practices and purposes? Yeah. Um, are you providing those environments or are you making up excuses? Yeah, right, exactly. You're making up excuses. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's so. very, very true. Yeah. Yeah. I agree 100%. And I think there's there's times that I'm like, oh my gosh, are you, how old are you, Stephanie? Like, you should have had this figured out by now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or you look at like a kid who's like, wow, that was really wise. <laughs> yeah, you know, for sure. Mom, like you have your kids say stuff to you, and you're like, that was really, yeah. that was really wise. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, and I think we go back and forth a little bit. Too, Absolutely. Yeah, it's not linear at all. Like yeah. there's the, hey, you know, three steps forward, 15 steps back. Yeah. You know, exactly. that, that happens too. But um, yeah. like we said, like, you know, but Jesus cares the most about our trajectory. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, are we just happy where we are are we comfortable are we just hanging out and and that's kind of it or is there more mm -hmm. and um and are we allowing him to do that work right. for us yeah so um because it is it's like there's an ocean possibility. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. yeah it's yeah. pretty cool but it's yep. good when when you feel like you've uh, broken through a little ways if not yeah Busted it, but maybe a crack. <laughs> right, crack at a time. That's when the glass breaks. <laughs> crack at a time, exactly. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks, Stephanie. Yeah, thanks for joining thank us. This is, this is a great conversation. Thank yeah. you for bringing your massage therapy into this, too. I'm going to think about those things that you like talked about, but it's true. Yeah. It, it, it all ties together. Yeah, it does. It does all tie together, but yeah, I appreciate the, the spiritual aspect of the knowledge that you bring, so thank you. Oh, thanks, Stephanie. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us, and I um, hope that you were able to um, maybe take some parts of our conversation and some things that you've been chewing on or, or working through, too, and um, don't forget to join us on Sunday. 11 o'clock worship. Um, it's going to be Mother's Day too. So mm -hmm. whether you're in person or online, we want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day to yeah. um, really all the mothering figures in Absolutely. our life in so many different ways, Absolutely. whether or not you have biological children, but how, um, and also to think about those that have also poured into us too yeah. as, those, as those mothering people. So yeah. um, we're going to celebrate that too. So um, make plans to join us and we'll see you then. Okay, Take care bye. guys. Bye.